Okay, what's going on everyone and welcome back to dust uh, so last time we bought some stone golems yeah I think they were stone golems and then we made our way over to the village it's called Aurora yes Aurora village um and then we saw us we talked to some people we got a quest um and then yes right now what is our main quest bring yourself a hero perhaps now you can get some answers from the town folk okay the first things first we need to go back like a map and talk to some people that we um just sort of ran past because we were in a bit of a rush trying to find um the save point ah our famed savior i had hoped you'd come welcome to my humble shop you're like a cat i think so Ooh, what do we got hmm apparently perfect. see this stuff uh this stuff we need this, we don't need any of that. The keys, you have six keys. Oh my god, each one costs 3,000. I don't have that kind of money right now. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's sell. Ah, I see. Serves no purpose to sell it. Alright, if you say so. I'm like, I'm sure this is gonna give us something at the end, even if it's it's probably just gonna be um Thank you for coming in. an achievement, but we'll find out <laughs> once we get there. Almost. Almost. Move. Wait, we can basically fly. Oh. Oh, I see. I get tired. I turn red. Um, oh, we're out of keys right now, right? Hello, I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the West. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Oh no, I hate it when everyone's talking. Of course, you're the one who saved Oneida. Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Uh, this guy seems, uh, rather eager. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denim. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. <laughs> Denim. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Yes. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is. She definitely is. I just, I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much. You're great. You're really, really great. Aw, how adorable. <laughs> you! You're perfect! Wait, I am? Why? Um, thanks? Oh, fidget. Not you! Listen. Uh huh? Do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. <laughs> Big suspicions right here. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Wait, when did he say that his name was Reed? He's been looking for a box. I mean, there is the chest that's over there, but I don't have a key right now. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. Hello again. Dust? Really? 
Is something wrong? She's like, Dust, is that really your name? No, I I'm sorry. It's just an interesting name. I'm Ginger. Oh, and about those people you saved. Yes? Well, that was a noble thing to do. So thank you. Alright, cool. Okay, bye. <laughs> Ugh. Guess we went down. Uh, may as well just explore the town. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Little Maybe child? you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. Corbin Blue? He's missing. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. He sounds mean. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Sweet! I did nothing. Well, okay, I've, I've just been talking to people. Uh, character, sweet. Um, it's three fifteen. Rescue, but what met rescue bonus? What does that mean? Me as well, I guess. But no. Hey, another chest. Oh boy. Let's see here. Yeah, there was nothing here. Uh, yeah, down here was the safe point. Something over there. Wait a minute. Um. If you fall into a hole near the storage cave in Aurora. Oh. There's definitely a bunch of, uh, interesting things going on. But it's really strange that I don't have the ability to crawl. Good day, I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. True so hero? what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word. I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. She can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Land! Just a casual One of the observation, oldest, but they don't uh, seem the farming of type. Stock. 
Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'll be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dusk? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. This is good? I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. This is really intriguing how, like, everyone else has a 2D um, talking image and then Aura is here, kind of 3D model. Helping this village is the right thing to do, but it's more than that. It's almost like, like I know these people, like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I need to bite your face off. Ow. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village. So I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. <laughs> Hello? Hey! You're the outsider! Yeah, that's me. This rat has quite the accent. That's great! So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm Fail. in charge of keeping our guards that's well a, equipped. perhaps a bit of an unfortunate name. Oh. So their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. So it's a bit of a fail, I'd say. <laughs> In so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp heights, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. Well, great. I just sold, like, my singular imp hide. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. Ooh. Travel into Abadis Forest. Archer's Pass, Abadis Forest, the Sanctuary, the Glade. What's the Sanctuary? What? Um, where did I go to first quest? Hmm, Abadis Forest, Impides. The edge of a baddest forest, Archer's Pass. Um, I mean, I guess we may as well go to Archer's Pass. Enemies that I can fight. A lot of enemies that I can fight. No. A resonant gem. Huh, okay. That's something to find in a bit. Do you hear something flapping? What? That isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company. Hello? No, no, come on. Ooh. Oh, hello. Ooh, okay, that exploded. No! Oh, cool. Uh, uh, nah. Whoa, that I went up. I did not want to go up. No, stop that. 
I'm trying to do cool things here. There's the resonance gem thing. Um, I don't know what you're for yet. Hmm. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, that was dumb. Seriously, I can't duck. Or rather, I can't crawl. Also, that was a little... Just a little problem. Um, I guess we're equipping... Oh, oh, that was a mistake. No, it's not. We're gonna equip the chicken. Yes, we're going up. Ooh, what a statue. Oh my. Oh my. Come on. G give me. Come on, give me 300. Give me 300. Combo, combo, please, combo, please, combo. No! Child's Pendant. Oh. Ah, it has a multiplier effect. Oh my god, there's so many more. Go down! No! No. What hit me? Excuse me. I do not agree with this. Um, defense, I guess. Yeah. Hello? Oh, that's not good. Oh my. He really should have saved first. Blobs. Deadly creatures. <laughs> Keep your Blobs. distance. They will detonate if you get too close, but are vulnerable when taking a deep breath. Perfect for a ranged attack. Let me at him. So we gotta rely on Fidget. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. No! Oh no. Oh, 
This is gonna be, uh, interesting. Hey, a shop! Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. I'll deal with any of that now. No. But I have new things that I can sell. Excellent. Where's my imp? Do I not actually have any? I guess I don't. Uh, we're gonna need to buy some food. Uh, 80 for 20. Okay, so it scales properly. Darn. Let's do that. Attack luck, defense luck. Your transaction is most appreciated. Ooh, okay. Alright. I guess I can't go down there. Oh boy. Confused. Like, I don't technically have a proper long range attack. No, no, okay. I am on fire. I am on fire. I don't like being on fire. Uh, caught up with me at the headless statue. Climbed out to the hand and made a leap to face. So, here? Maybe? Yes! Maybe. Cool. So much considering um, the current situation. This is incredibly uh, dramatic. I'm sure there's a proper way to deal with those things, but I mean, this is working right now. Oh, wait, no, this is the headless set. Okay, hold up. But, it looks like... What? Hello? I only- but I only have one key! Uh, 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 we're going left. Money. A wetsuit. And if I defense and four luck. Ooh, neat. Well, that's like immediately better than like anything I could, else I could possibly have. What just happened? Hello. What? Well, either way, I'm gonna need another key for that the next time I come back. So I'll just deal with that. Wait a minute. Uh, no, it's like six thousand. That was interesting.
Love Mysterious Ball Game. It's so effective. Ow. No! Okay. Closer and closer to the statue, and also we can't climb anymore. No, okay. Okay, this is bad. Ooh, this is a. Uh... Drop, drop and roll. Eh? Hello? Whoa, uh, hello there. <laughs> Easy there, Chief. Everyone, calm down, please. So. You were the ones making all that noise up there. Ah, uh, not intentionally. Uh, by the way, do you know you have bloms in the attic? <laughs> oh, those? They don't bother us. And they tend to keep the other monsters away. If I knew we were having company, I'd have cleared them out myself. Sorry about that, I guess. So, what brings you two this far outside Aurora? I'm assuming that's where you're from. I'm Dust, and this is my companion, Fidget. We're here to deliver these materials on Augustine's behalf. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. I'm Haley, and this is my brother, Maddie. I wonder if he's gonna say any intelligible words at some point. Don't mind him. I see you've got a blueprint there. Mind if I take a look? Well, this doesn't look too hard. Tell you what, if you can find me the materials for it, I'll craft this item for ya. Uh, to attack your luck. What does it? What does it take? Like, what are the? What are the necessary materials? What the? Wow, that's a lot. Here, oh, I see. Uh, time one point one and one. Eh, I think we're okay for now, especially considering we got that wetsuit. Thanks, Haley. And, uh, just because I like you, I'll give you a blue resonance gem. Don't know if you caught it on your way up, but there's a big blue door at the foot of Archer's Pass that this'll open. Just inside the door is a teleporter that'll take you right up here. <gasps> it makes return trips a lot easier. So you can come and visit anytime you like. Be thirsty? I mean, I don't know the last time she's probably seen anyone cool. So, who knows? I'll be honest, even with a shortcut at the foot of the pass, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it up here too often. You know, kind of on that note, why are they this far secluded anyway? Like, that, this felt like a rather perilous journey for any normal person trying to use a, a black. Hmm, well, my dad did have these little receiver things he'd give to his regular customers to transport goods back and forth. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to give you. Let me think. If I remember correctly, one of my dad's customers dropped one somewhere in Abadi's Fort. If you were to find it, I could craft your items and send them to you through the receiver whenever you wanted. Neat! Dad normally gives his customers a blue resonance gem, so check for blue resonance gates in Abadi's Forest. Need anything else? So, let's talk. I notice it's only you and Maddie up here in the pass. 
Is it just you two? Not all the time, no. My father still runs the forge, but he's usually away on business. Right now, he's somewhere across the sea, hunting down new minerals and ores. He's always trying to make better weapons and armor. Sounds like he's always pretty busy. Yeah, but I get along fine by myself. And Maddie too, of course. I meant to ask before, does Maddie have a problem with me? He's, he's right there, my dude. Don't talk about him like that. What? Well, it's just... He seems to grumble a lot around me. I can attest to that. Lots of grumbling. I really can't say, Dust. Maddie, do you have anything to say? No, I guess not. Well, I hope that answers your question. Uh, not really, but... Let it go, Dust. Just... So, is blacksmithing the official family trade, then? In a way, I guess. My father said I could be whatever I wanted. But when you grow up alongside a world-famous blacksmith, your options are fairly limited. Not that I mind, though. It's nice to have skills that are in demand these days. Everybody always needs something forged, whether it's amulets or armor. So, business is good? <sighs> it's... well, it's been better. Still, we make enough to keep things going, and that's the important thing. Your forge is pretty far off the beaten path, Haley. Why set up shop so far outside Aurora? This forge is actually quite ancient. My father's 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 father inherited it from his mother's grandfather on her father's side. That's like, so if she's, so if Haley is one, she makes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight generations back? Good lord. It was built during the Battle of Archers Pass many hundreds of years ago. The archers were holding off their enemies from way up here, but they needed a forge to replenish their arrows. So they built one right where they stood. It helped them take archers pass. And from here, they were able to liberate the whole valley. Sounds like this forge has a lot of history behind it then. Even so. Location, location, location. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I hear what you're saying. I wish it was more accessible. We'd get more business, I'm sure of it. But it's not like we can just pick it up and move it. I'll bet if you had an army of trained rats, you could move this place no problem. Why rats, Fidget? Uh, Fidget, I don't think that'd help. You know, smart mutant rats with magic! Okay. Don't worry about her desk. Altitude sickness. Drive some creatures crazy. Fidget was pretty crazy before. Maybe we should be on our way. I think Dust said it best. I think that'll actually call it for now. Alright, thanks for watching along, everybody.